Kitty, you like to play board games. You mean like Monopoly, yeah. games like that? Yeah, I guess everybody likes to play Monopoly. Well, it's a sense you'll be able to play the newest game on the market. It's just like Monopoly. And if you ever thought anything good could come out of the failures of all the banks here in East Tennessee... Oh, brother. <laughs> where do you see what an enterprising young Knoxville man has come up with? This is the city. Knoxville, Tennessee. The game these guys are about to play actually happened. The Commissioner of Banking for the State of Tennessee, Billy Adams, has determined the United American Bank of Knoxville is insolvent. Well, let's all get around here and get started. Pat, that was the shadiest deal. I'll tell you what, the FDIC, you seen them? A Knoxville entrepreneur has invented a game modeled after what's being called collectively the largest bank failure since the Depression. Now, the game's called United Bankruptcy, and you play it sort of like Monopoly, only in this case, <laughs> bankruptcy really hurts. The game was invented by Bill Sibley, and he says normally it takes a few hours to finish playing, but we'll just hit the highlights. Unlike Monopoly, there are two banks in this game, but there's only a certain amount of money put in them. Occasionally, players have to pay the bank's interest and things like that, but more often than most, they're having to constantly borrow money from the banks to support their businesses. And when the banks go bankrupt, then the businesses go bankrupt. And when the businesses go bankrupt, the players go bankrupt. And the last player that keeps them going bankrupt wins the game. In two words, describe what the box means. Two words, huh? Bad news. Ah, yes, the box. Now, the box is one of the banks that will eventually gobble up everybody's money. It handles all the cash not owned by players, and it forecloses any of your businesses that go bankrupt due to your not being able to manage your money. In real life, think of the box as the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Since we're on the subject of the FDIC, I think there's something we'd better warn you about. Jail. Jail here makes the jail and monopoly look like a dog's lunch. According to Bill, if lying, cheating, stealing, and swindling doesn't keep you from going bankrupt, you will definitely go to jail. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, jail. <laughs> jail. It's just about time to put you good for doing all that cheating over there. Now then, how do you get out of the pokey? Roll the dice three times. If you can't get doubles at least once, you'll have to pay the box $5,000 to get out. If you don't pay, you don't get out. And if you don't get out, tough toenails. Jailbirds aren't allowed to win the game. I'll pay, I'll get out. You can watch, you wait and see. I know some people who know some people. <laughs> when you stop and think about it, actually, United Bankruptcy can be a learning experience. Well, you can learn to lose, one thing, but I, uh, I think more or less than that, keeping up with your finances. Uh, watching, making sure that you uh, keep good track of your finances and where your money is going. Now, business negotiations are never fun, whether you're playing a game or it's the real thing. Here in the close confines of a living room, it could be fun, as well as a little bit bizarre. You owe me a thousand dollars. I don't owe you any money. You owe me a thousand dollars. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> Forty-two hundred dollars. <laughs> right here, on my boy. case, lady. <laughs> don't you owe the bank a little interest money here? For well, maybe I do. Previous loans. All right, all right. I'll pay the interest. I'm sure Let's I can see. check the record. Six thousand. Three. Truck sales and service. Listen, John, there's one thing I want to make sure. Make sure the FDIC and the, and the journals, make sure they don't get in here. If anybody doesn't get in here, shoot them. But then the stark reality of the game and all of your fancy wheelings and dealings come back to eventually haunt you. 26.5. That's it. 26.7. Okay, the bank's insolvent now. Bank's bankrupt. Everybody turn in their loan cards. The bank will be closed today, Monday, February the 14th, 1983. No more business can be bought. Everything's bad news. Everything's just hanging on to your shirts from here. One more thing concerning lying, cheating, stealing, and swindling. During the course of the game, you can do whatever you want to other players to protect yourself and your own property from bankruptcy. But you cannot steal from the box or the banks. If you get caught, the other players choose one of the three punishments. They can make you pay the box $3,000 or they can make you advance to the nearest business, in which case you may have to buy the corporation's product, or they can simply send you to jail. We're trying to set a good example by playing the game, but there are advantages to lying, cheating, stealing, and swindling. You can win the game. <laughs> Just remember, in the game of United Bankruptcy, there are no winners, only survivors.
about that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, fine. Hey, crap. No, 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 but Marie, we should be able to work something. Marie, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be at a bar tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Go. No, I don't. I'm going to go to Tim in the jail. I, 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 I got places. I know some people who can pay for this. I've got a lot of money. Hey, Kevin, where does a person go about finding this UAB game anyway? Well, the way we understand it, there are some games being sold at all the Gateway bookstores in town, or you can drop us a self-addressed stamped envelope right here at PM Magazine. Now, don't go away. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with more PM Magazine in just a minute.